Chris Brown. It's the home of Nottingham baseball, but Robbinsville, the home team in this district play opener for the 11-year-old All-Stars, and for the first three innings Friday, offense was unheard of. Ben Helmold, superb from on the mound for Nottingham. Ryan DiMaggio for Arville, more than living up to his family's name, he struck out the side, in fact, in the first inning. There were also a number of very nice catches in this contest. This is lifted to the left. Tyler Costin playing close to the line, makes the grab on the run. Later, this is popped up along the first base side, giving chase Aaron Rios. Arm extended, makes a nifty grab. Eventually, though, the bats would wake up. Joey Giori hammers this to straightaway center. The ball makes friends with more than a few branches up top, then nearly falls into the bucket below for some basketball. A two-run shot for Giori, who gets Nottingham a 2-0 lead. The home run roused Robbinsville's offense, though. Bases loaded here, no one out for C.J. Tejeda. They get the force of second, but won't turn two. Run good in any event, Arville on the board. What happened next made not getting that double play a bit regrettable. Matty Marcille records out number two, but tagging and coming home, Brian Herbert tied game, and it would stay that way on into extras. Top seven, Nottingham regained the lead on a bases loaded walk, and then Marcille ripped this way back to center. On Instagram, he called it his longest single ever, only good for a run thanks to DiMaggio, excellent defense. Now this turn of events left everyone a little bewildered. The ball is dropped with the bases again full, so there's a force at home and they go there. But after much confusion, some thought Marcel got back to first. They throw over there and record a double play. So on with the show, 4-2 Nottingham. Robbinsville would load him up in the bottom of the seventh for Tyler Provost. He hits this to the gap. Marcel with one heck of a great effort, but he can't quite make the play. One run will come in for Arville. DiMaggio was up next, and he can hit just as well as he can pitch. He rips this to virtually the same area. Costin will get under it and make the catch. Tagging and coming in to tie things right back up, though, is Jack Bennett. One down for Brian Herbert. Double play situation, but Herbert not thinking that way. He hits this bullet to right. That's all Arville needed as they come from behind with last inning heroics and win this District 12 opener, the team erupting into a state of euphoria mobbing Herbert. It was great. We all played as a team and we never gave up at the end. Well, I thought we were in a lot of pressure at the end, but then our team stayed in it, hit, and we didn't make a lot of errors in that last inning except for that one, and I thought we did pretty good. I think the turning point in the game was when we when we got those two runs back, and then they scored, they pushed us to score more. I think it feels good because for travel, we lost them twice, and for us beating them in districts without a normal team, I think that's just really good. Mark Fontes, Jersey Mark Sports.